I know a lot of people are saying Wilder, but it, when, when's the last time Wilder fought? Boxing fans here in Birmingham with the main event, Galal Yafai. Galal, uh, good to be home. Good, good to just see familiar faces of your family around and everything else. Yes, yeah, nice. Um, normally I'm stuck in a hotel for a week, but I've been going home, so uh, yeah, it's not been too bad. Let's talk about your opponent, Tommy Frank, obviously a decent level opponent, 15 and 3, um, looking to bring it on Saturday night. I spoke to Eddie, he said, listen, it's good to have Galal back, find a domestic opponent before we throw him in there, three, four fights, fighting for world titles. Is that the path? Is that, is that what you're looking at right now? Yeah, I think so. Um, I've just got to keep improving. Um, do you think it's going to be a good fight? Yeah. Do you think it's going to be a good fight? So that you think it's going to be a good, what's a good fight to you when it's nip and tuck and it's blow for blow? Not necessarily, but a good fight. Good, good, good. That's for that's for you to that, that's for you to answer. Right? Or is it going to be good for the, a good fight for the fans? Possibly, possibly. But it's it's, it's something that I'd, I'd want from yourself. Obviously, are you looking to just take him out, get the job done, and just move on? Is that is that the mentality that you're going in with? Uh, yeah, definitely. But you know, I take him serious. Um, but I know a lot of people said it's going to be a good fight. So I'm thinking if they think it's going to be a good fight, then they think that's going to be a close fight because. Uh, Close fights are normally good fights, and uh, one-sided fights are boring fights, isn't it, really? Um, but now I'm looking forward to it. I'm taking him serious. He's a good fighter. Um, so yeah, we'll see you Saturday. Um, after this, uh, it seems like Eddie's saying you know, they could be pushed into big opportunities. The division's brewing up, a lot of fighters you know, moving up and down, and you've got some good champions there. Eddie's the right person to be promoting you in, that, in the lower weight categories. A good time right now for yourself? Yeah, definitely. Um, Flyweight division and a light flyweight and the super flyweight division is good with, with Matt Toomes, one of the reasons why I signed with them. Um, but you know what, I don't focus too much on other people, do you know what I mean? Like, it's not like I'm um, struggled as an amateur and uh, you know, I'm trying to get a name and you know, I, I'm Olympic on Melly so I ain't really got to try and bring other people's names up um, for win a world title hopefully, which I do in the next year, um, then I'm up there as well. Um, but there's, there's loads of good fighters at my way. They're all brilliant fighters, especially the four world champions. So hopefully I can beat one of them in the next year. I do you want to talk to you about a fight in the division that everyone's talking about? Bam Bam versus Sonny Edwards. We know Sonny's signed with Eddie, uh, you know, put on a, a performance last time, but this is the big one that everyone's talking about. How do you see that one playing out, Gala? Um, You know, good question. Um, I've been asked a lot. It, uh, who do you think? I'm into. I'm, I'm now. I'm ready to be. I can't. I can't really you give can't you that. I can't say. Can you tell me after. Can you think after? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, you know what? I don't know. I'm on a fifth, fifth, fifty fight. It's whoever gets the game plan right. Um, but fair play to Sonny for going over to America to fight him because he's a good fighter as well. He's not like a weak champion. He's one of the better ones. Probably out of him and Sonny, who is the best, who is the better on paper in the division. What do you make of Sonny as a fighter? When I think of Sonny, uh, there are similarities there, you know, good mover on the feet, you know, knows how to fight on the front foot, back foot. He seems to have a little bit of everything, maybe not the knockout power that people talk about, uh, but not everyone can have that knockout power. But what do you make of Sonny's uh, pro game so far? Yes, yeah, he's unblemished, isn't he? What, is he 20 and 0, 19 and 0 or something? Um, so he's yet to be beat, he's world champion, so he's obviously a very good fighter. Uh, he's awkward. Um, He's stubborn, he's fit, so he comes to win every time. He's confident as well, which is a big thing, he's confident. Um, he's mentally strong as well, so it's good. That's what, you, that's what you need to be, to be a world champion. Before I do let you go, I need to talk about uh, the weekend's boxing. Anthony Joshua fighting uh, Robert Hellenius. Just your thoughts on AJ's performance on the night? Yeah, it was a good performance. Um, you know, we expected to knock him out and he did. Um, great knockouts. Not a lot of people talking about it, should have probably knocked him out earlier, but Sometimes Josh, he'll maybe start a bit slower. Um, but now Josh, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Josh, man. He's, he, I spend a bit of time with him over my time with GB, and I'm a big fan of him, and I look up to him. Um, and obviously, I emulated what he did, being Olympic gold medalist. So um, it's one thing we share in common. Um, Wilder is the name for January in Saudi Arabia. What happens in that fight? Uh, two big punches. You know what? I know a lot of people are saying Wilder, but it, when, when's the last time Wilder fought? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Before Helenius last, actually. When was that? It was earlier this year, if I'm right. Earlier this, yeah. earlier this year, and he knocked him out in the first round. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was longer than that. Um, yeah, it's a tough fight. You know, Wilder can punch. Um, he's, he's dangerous, but so is Josh. So we'll see how that fight plays out.
I do want to ask you though, a lot of talk about Wilder, AJ, three years ago where AJ was a lot more raw. You went to the Ruiz fight, we know what happened in the first Ruiz fight. Do you feel like AJ is in a better position now where he sort of seems to be improving his boxing skills and not just being a, a puncher than he was three years ago? So him fighting Wilder now, do you feel like it's a better, it's a better AJ fighting Wilder right now? You know what, it's, a, it's an awkward question because three years ago he used to train with my, with my trainer, Rob. So, uh, I think he's probably better when he came with Rob, but um, I don't know. Uh, my opinion don't mean nothing. It's what other people think as well. You know what I mean? Um, do other people think he was better three, four years ago? I do, um, or from what I've seen. But then he could fight brilliantly in his next fight, on his next two, three fights. So it's just boxing. You just you have one or two bad fights, and everyone thinks that you're done. So I'm sure we'll see how he is in his next fight. Actually, Wilder Hellenius was at the end of last year, so yeah, so it is going to be a little while before he fights again. Do you think Wilder needs another fight before he fights AJ, or do you think he can go straight in there? I think he'll probably just go straight into it. I think he'll be paid a lot of money, so he, he wouldn't want to say no, so um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably would just go straight into it myself. Does any of that Saudi money tempt you, Galal? If that Saudi money came lo knocking out to the young, uh, to the lower weight division and said, listen, let's get you out there, would that be tempting? I think you've got to be, I think there's a height restriction on Saudi money. I think you have to be above five foot eight or ten to even be um, thought of. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm, uh, that's very doubtful. Galal, yeah, fine, listen, good luck on Saturday night. Um, I know that we'll speak to you. I will speak to you off camera, give you my thoughts anyway. But, yeah, good luck. I know that we'll speak to you after final. Tom and Galal.